So I think it's fair enough to say that most people hate their job. I mean, that's partially a reason why I'm making this video, because I would love to work for YouTube. Now, when someone says they want to be a YouTuber for their career, generally, it's not perceived as being the best path. One of the big reasons for this is content like the 3AM challenge being shoved out by some of the shittiest content creators on the platform. Now, if you aren't familiar with this, it's when some tool pretends to FaceTime or get their house invaded by a random stuffed animal cartoon character at around 3AM. Some good quality stuff. But that isn't until after they manipulate their young viewers in the first three minutes of every single video begging them to like, subscribe, and buy their merch. Oh, also followed up by a money generating ad, which will be the first of probably about 20. It's also imperative for these YouTubers to make every single video at least 10 minutes long. I mean, they can make it a little longer, but who really wants to put that much effort into their content? So before I went into looking further into this horrible genre, I had already known about people like All Those World, I'm Jay Station, and Jester and their unfortunate existence on my planet. You didn't know? If you call yourself at 3 o'clock in the morning, you get to talk to yourself. No way. What? what? Okay, so you're telling me this is real? Yes, I'm real. Tell me this is real? Yes. I'm real. This is real. After jumping into this rabbit hole, I initially had wanted to make a video talking a little bit about a lot of these creators that just make terrible videos that not a lot of people are talking about. But after researching the first person I was going to talk about, I came to the conclusion that there was no way I could fit him into a condensed video due to his overload of shit quality content. His name is Leo Swipes and he has about 107,000 subscribers and I would tell you more about him if he, you know, did anything on his about page besides list his location, which is one of the pre-things that you do before making a YouTube channel. So, just shows already how much effort this man puts into his, his quality videos. Aside from that though, if you go to his videos, you'll notice they all have the telltale signs of our favorite shitty 3AM YouTubers. To elaborate, the first thing to dissect is the thumbnail. Something you'll see very often is the red arrows pointing at an object to insinuate that that's the object that the creator messed with, as well as red arrows pointing at whatever consequences messing with it had. But in reality, there's none because it's all fucking horribly fake. Oh my goodness. Most frequently nowadays, you'll see in large versions of haunted cartoon characters and or them being FaceTimed as the haunted cartoon character, in addition to the YouTuber very shittily acting very spooked. And would you look at that? All of what I had just described, it fits one of his newest video thumbnails, conveniently titled Slipped on Mario's Banana FaceTime Call Evil Mario Racer at 3 a.m. Gone Wrong Chased by Mario Kart. Fucking fire title, my guy. Maybe I'm just a nitpicking douche, but isn't it? infuriating to anybody else that that last exclamation point is incorrectly spaced. Like, if it was just not like that, this video title would definitely end up on my top 10 favorite YouTube video titles of 3AM challenges list, for sure. It's me, Mario! I am on my way to come and get you, Little Swipe. What is this? Mario! Mario! The intro to this somewhat follows that of every other big shitty 3AM YouTuber. He starts off somewhat scared as he calls this cartoon character, but he's nonchalant nevertheless about it. But then, oh no, something suddenly appeared in his house randomly, in this case, it's a banana. And then the video game character is in the house? What? What is going on? I need to keep watching this, I need to see what happens to Leo. But oh fuck, we have to have a shitty intro of a 3D animal as it runs with flames, revealing your name. Oh, and don't forget to plug that merch because the viewers definitely clicked on the video for that and not what the title says because it makes no sense anyways. And you guys know it's gonna be a crazy video because I'm crazy and you guys are even crazier. Not even 30 seconds in, this hype beast is screaming about how crazy he is, how crazy his fans are. Buddy, trust me, I think everyone knows how crazy you are. You guys will smash that like button. And of course, smash that like button before I've done remotely nothing. Also, just something I noticed for anyone who's sad and lonely and wants to play a drinking game, pop on Leo Swipe's channel and just click on any video listen to the amount of times he says guys take a shot do you know it's 3m right now i'm just gonna take a look because i don't think it's really 3m it's probably like hmm guys it's 310 it's really dark guys wait what the fuck it's 310 not 3 a.m i don't even know if i i can watch this anymore dude i don't trust you bro i don't know i don't know because I'm not done. Without further ado, let's take a look, see if I can FaceTime Mario. But guys, not any Mario, Mario Kart. Uh, sure. I've been looking for Mario's number for quite some time. I was only actually able to find regular Mario, not 
Mario Kart. I don't know if that's like a Super Mario or what's the difference. Dude, please, j just stop. You are hurting my brain. Guys, hopefully he answers. I, I have him saved as Mario Kart, as you guys can see. Wait, but you just said you only found Mario's real number, not Mario Kart. Is this a hoax? But the real question is, should I be searching for something else? Maybe Mario the Racer? Mario 64? Bruh. Guys, Mario Kart is calling me. Wait, this is not, it's not a FaceTime. Wait. Oh man, let's see what's about to be unleashed on my boy. Mario, what are you talking about? You're not evil, are you? But he's probably shitting himself anticipating the horrors to come. I know I would be. Hmm. Oh, whoa! 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 Wait, wait, what, what? Oh my god, Mario! Oh, 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 oh. So as he's hiding beneath his table or under his I don't know really, but either way, the light is shining on the Mario Kart character, and am I thinking too much into this? Yes. Do I want to talk about how shitty everything is and like all elements of shit that I can? Yes. So that was just one of them. Mario's in my room, I have to attack him. Oh, 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 oh my god, Mario, Mario! Oh. Damn, that clip sure was enticing in the intro, and it still is now. And as he swipes like a lion, we get some A-plus sound effects that really added to my overall enjoyment of the video, most definitely. What is this? Oh my god, no! God damn you, Mario, for making my lord and savior Leo slip on a banana peel! Guys, I swear, there was no banana when I looked at Mario, guys. Oh, shit. Then I definitely think ghosts are real. Yeah, I could definitely now believe in ghosts because Leo said so, so hope there's not one in here tonight and I'm actually gonna get kind of scared now. Hold up, hold up guys. A lot of things are making sense. You guys know what happens when things don't add up. Guys, I get really confused. So after accidentally summoning haunted Mario to his house, slipping on his banana peel, and kind of just pushing himself inside of his room, Leo is now unsure of what to do. Seriously though, he says that at least four more times over the next minute of his video, and I just found it to be incredibly amusing. He called me back for some strange reason. I think the only thing I can do right now is give you guys shoutouts. Because when you ain't got no cartoon characters trying to murder you, give shoutouts! He wraps up the video spending the last two minutes giving shoutouts to his fans in noticeably different audio quality, showing that he didn't directly film it right after the Mario Kart skit. But you know what? I'm looking way too deep into it, as I had said earlier, so I think that's just where we're gonna end this. And one thing I want to include before I wrap up my video is that the reason why this was a smaller channel but still felt like it was such overwhelming shit to me, like a bigger channel would, like Jester, JStation, all those world like I mentioned earlier. This is Aldo World's brother. Ronald? Oh there. That that explains quite a bit. So that's all I have to say right now on 3 a.m. challenges. If you enjoyed this video, I'm happy you did. I'm not gonna ask you to do anything. Might be future videos, might not. Yeah. Adios.